speak with you a little bit today about this whole return to work concept and what's going on here. We've been keeping our eyes on what people need from a job since I started this business 13 years ago. And for many years, people have been talking about the need for more flexibility. I myself felt that way as well. And when I opened up Turning the Corner, I wanted to create an environment that was extremely flexible, very selfishly for my own needs. And so ever since day one, we've had an extremely flexible environment. I had a concept that we called core hours and flexible hours. And the core hours were the times when I really wanted everyone on my team together. And my core hours are this, Thursday morning from 9 to 11. That's the only time I require my team to be present. And the reason for this is that this is when our team meeting is. And I do want to be able to have the team come together. We do want to create culture through those meetings, and we do. But otherwise, why do I care if and where people are or if they're working? I I really don't care as long as we're seeing the results. And that is one of the most important things. And actually, one of our values at Turning the Corner is results beyond expectations. And with because that's a value that we hire and fire and manage and train for, it's really one of those things that keeps everyone really accountable for getting the results. And it doesn't really matter if they're in office, if they're in person, if they're working at midnight or they're working on a Saturday. If that's when they have energy and they want to work, why do I care? I don't. Now, because this has been such an important model for us, I've also wanted to see how I can help other companies adopt a similar model. And so we've also played with all the different varieties of flexible work. So let me introduce a few of them. There are just pure part-time jobs that creates more flexible work. A lot of business leaders are hesitant to have part-time workers, and I'm not really sure why, because my experience with having part-time workers, which I've had throughout my entire journey as an entrepreneur and a CEO, is that part-time workers actually work a lot because what happens is they may have a a constrained schedule, maybe 15 hours a week that they're getting paid. And because of that constrained schedule, that 15 hours is unbelievably efficient. They sit down to work and they work. There's no messing around because there's not the, the the, the margin in the day for them. And so 15 hours of part-time work tends to actually result in a lot more than you'd imagine. So that's one model that I will debunk that part-time work does not work. It absolutely works. And I would encourage you to create more part-time jobs because it opens up a whole new market of of talent for you. It opens up the stay-at-home parent market, people who want to work and want to have meaningful work, but don't necessarily want to work full-time opens up that market. It also opens up your seniors, your our, our baby boomer market. People, again, who don't really want to work full-time, but have an amazing gift to give and would just want to give it part-time. So consider this. Now, the second variety of flexible work would be to have a job share. That's where you basically have two part-time workers doing one full-time job. I've played with that. I thought it worked amazing. Again, it's just two time worker, two two part time workers. But here was the thing I learned: is that you do want to make sure that those two part time workers like each other, that they have a, a corresponding and a, a compatible personality. If you've got someone who's extremely competitive and the other person is not competitive, there is there's going to be conflict. And so you definitely want to make sure that each one of the parties like each other and that they can actually work together and do kind of a good handoff between the two. That would be the only downfall of that. But I've seen this work in a number of environments, including the school districts. I figure if a school district can do a job share between two teachers, for sure we can figure it out inside of corporate America. The third model of flexible work would be to just let people schedule the time the way they want. So instead of a Monday through Friday, eight to five environment, create and have a more flexibilized schedule. Let people work the 40 hours when they want to work it. Again, you need to make sure that the goal is really clear and that they know what the result needs to be. But like I said earlier, why do you care when or where they are working as long as the results are there? And another way would be then to think about like a four 10-hour day if you have to do and have people in office. Four 10-hour days means you're still getting your 40 hours, but then there's one flexible day a week. 
I do recommend you rotate what that flexible day is unless your industry allows you to have it be the same day every week. And it's okay for you to literally shut the business down. Right now, I don't see that there's a lot of availability for that. And so it seems like businesses are still running five days a week. And so if you're going to do a four day work week, I recommend you just have that rotating day between people and have it be more of a something where, you know, you get every five days or every five weeks, someone works and has the Wednesday off, so to speak. Otherwise it's not fair that, you know, someone always has Friday or always has Monday. Like that'll cause some different cultural issues inside your organization. But four day work week is a really feasible thing. And I really like it personally. And I think it's going to continue to happen. We're seeing more and more and more trends toward that. Another idea is to have three 12 hour days. If you're in a manufacturing environment or you're in an environment where you can create a 12 hour shift, you could look and play with that. Now, my experience with a 12 hour day is that it's pretty exhausting. So office work, I don't think lends itself very nicely to this, but there are some environments where it might make a lot of sense to have three 12 hour days. So consider that. The other idea now around flexibility is there's a corresponding piece, which is autonomy, meaning people want to have control over their schedule. If you're working in a retail environment or you're working in food and beverage or hospitality, how can you provide more flexibility? I get that question a lot. Well, maybe it's not flexibility as much as it is autonomy. Let people pick the shifts that they want to work. One of our customers played with this and it actually has worked really well where they've put a two week shift schedule up on the wall and gives everybody, give everybody a chance to pick the shifts that they want. At the end of that experience, what happened is that there were like two shifts that were still open. The manager then had to go back to the team and say, all right, someone needs to take the, you know, Wednesday afternoon from three to eight shift or whatever it was. And so then he kind of had to, you know, do a little arm wrestling there, but for only two shifts. And now they've been doing this for a couple months. They're in routine with it and it's working really well. And what's the great thing about it is that the individuals feel like they have control over their schedule instead of it being just dictated by the manager, which is something I've actually never really understood anyway. Why should all that responsibility be on the manager to set up the shifts for a particular department when I think it should actually be more controlled by the individuals and make, you know, be more of a collaborative effort among the team itself. So thinking of different ways to provide that flexibility is going to improve your culture and is going to result in you actually having more talent coming into your through your door. And you're not going to be losing people. For those of you that have decided that we have to be in office and we have to, everyone needs to be here. I'm going to challenge you that you are probably going to struggle. You are going to struggle with retention and ultimately struggle with recruiting because nobody wants to work like that anymore. People want more flexibility and autonomy. So see if there's a way that you can adapt the, the way you're thinking about all this and actually create a different environment so that you're not struggling with recruiting and retention because that's no fun at all. If you're really struggling, if you're also feeling like people have to be in office, get to the root of that. Why? Why do people have to be in office? And Keep asking yourself the why question, and it may come down to that you just don't trust people if you can't see them, and that's a different issue. If you don't trust people because you can't see them, we got to work together to clear out some of that head trash because that's not true. If you're creating an environment that's where people can't be trusted, that's a different thing, right? But if you are actually just believing that people can't be trusted, we got to just deal with that head trash because it's not true at all. People are very trustworthy when they're given the environment to be trustworthy. Now, the last piece of this would be also, if you are going to go into a hybrid model, I recommend, again, you create core hours and you create flexible hours and make the core hours the same for everybody, because that's going to be a much better way for you to increase um, the, the culture and the collaboration between people. If you have an environment where the hybrid is just, okay, come in the office twice a week, well, you may have people show up on days where there's nobody else there. That's not resulting in what you need, which is you need more collaboration and teaming. If you want collaboration and teaming, make the, co the core hours the same time every week and the same days every week. We'd love to help you with this if this is something you're interested in or you're struggling with. I've really literally played with every one of these models in my journey, and I've seen almost all of them work. So let's see what we can make work for your environment. Get your free People Revolution ebook at turningthecornerllc.com.